So far, uh, I'm getting close to uh, completing this bend. This is the bend that goes on to the end of the cab right here. I kind of messed up this one. This is the front. This is going to that's going to uh, go across the uh, A pillar over here and follow this. The only downside is I need to have an extra amount of gap because of the fender flare that's pushing out. Uh, so, hence the really bad bends. I started doing some uh, multiple bends when that's wrong. I should have been doing one one bend and focusing on that. So that's why it's got that weird that weird curve going on. I don't like it. We need to fix that. Uh, but we'll do that after. Right now, I'm uh, fixing up the bend on uh, on the back tube over here. This guy seems to always always come back to me some way somehow. Uh, obviously, it's our old. It's the first work truck I ever had. I cannot tell you the last time the oil has been changed on this truck. But man, you do not want this in your vehicle. So obviously. This truck uh, has seen better days at being 20 years old, almost 20. This thing's old enough to vote. Uh, and just look at this very spare interior. We got the... So hopefully my viewers uh, know what this is right over here. It's a, uh, it's a phone holder. Ford really thought of everything back in 2003. It's pretty obvious the truck's oil hasn't been changed in a while. Ended up crushing the... Uh, filter because it was just seized into that spot. Here's our other dead giveaway that this oil is uh, past due here. We actually made some pretty big progress guys, look at that. Both sides have been bent to shape to follow the truck's body lines as best as I could. Of course it's mocked up right now folks, but it's going to be hugging to the body as close as possible. Flip on over here. Here's the other side. Oh yeah, and we're gonna have a bar. Hopefully tie these two pieces in together. It's just mocked up, folks. It's not 100% fitted right now. This one's actually a lot better. See that? Hugging the cab nice and tight. Bends, look at that. Not bad. But well, this is where we're at. Obviously, a bunch, laid down a bunch of uh, painter's tape just to protect it uh, from scratching. Now, if you're an Eagle Eye viewer, you can probably tell that this doesn't exactly follow the body line. And that's because our pillar here isn't exactly 100% going straight. It starts to curve and then it widens in this part, so hence it does go out a little bit more. But this is necessary because with that, with this bar being a little bit forward where it should, we have no obstructing, nothing. I could fully open my doors here. Oh man, it's a little too close, but this is the general idea. Look at that. So all doors can open, all doors can close. Oops. There we go. Same deal for the rear door. No obstructing. No nothing. We are. We are hash browns. That is dope. Now I'm not sure yet, but I might. I could potentially weld one here all the way to connect to the bottom here. We're going full on Mad Max if I do that. Uh, I don't think so. Uh, it's bad enough. We got a cage on the outside. Woo! Oh yeah! Again, this is just mocked up. I mean, look what's holding it, guys. Granite blocks my hoodie so it doesn't <laughs> scratch the paint. Granite blocks. Almost symmetrical. Of course, this you know there are different heights right now. But look at that. That's damn near close. I will happily take it, considering the machinery that we had. We're gonna have to uh, try to follow the curve here, and we have to notch off both ends of the tube. We're gonna weld that together. That'll tie in the top part. Same deal for the rear. We're gonna get a tube, and uh, this one actually probably just needs to do a slight bend. Nothing too crazy like the front. But same deal, we're gonna notch off both ends, weld it so the top part stays together. Now for the other big task we have is connecting this to the bottom of the truck. Originally, I wanted to use my aftermarket uh, side steps, the Nerf bars, uh, but unfortunately, it stops right where the doors are at, obviously, they're side steps. 
what we need is something to go past the cab just slightly. So unfortunately my aftermarket side steps will not work so we're gonna have to build one that goes all the way across here to reach both sides and then my plan is to steal the brackets off the aftermarket. It's back there right now you probably can't see it in the nighttime but I'm gonna steal the brackets off of that side step and use it on whatever we use to build uh, the side step here but basically it just needs to tie in the bottom and the most important bit here folks is that this needs to come off it can't be welded whatsoever to the truck no drilling has been done to the truck this will be unbolted and you're able to remove it and put it on whenever you feel uh, because well you know it's just a lot better plus I have commitment issues so here it is guys the aftermarket nerf bar side step that I was going to use originally in my plan to tie in uh, the bottom of the rack here but unfortunately we do not reach that on either end uh, but my plan is to steal the uh, brackets here that mounts up to the uh, factory mounting point but this is where we are at folks oh yeah boys she is coming along nicely but as of now she looking nice this is essentially a ladder rack that's pretty much what it is now will I know how much weight this thing can support I don't know I'm not quite sure I haven't done the math is what I'm saying here folks but uh, when the time comes when we need to load up LVLs, beams, 16 foot lumber, whatever. I'm gonna slap that thing on the roof, strap it down, and uh, hope for the best, really. Maybe some minor bends left here and there, but for the most part, they are following the body lines of the truck. This was, this was especially difficult here, doing this line and then bending here, because we had to do a double bend. See, had to bend here, and how to bend here. So this is definitely a lot harder than that sketch I made on Microsoft Paint. But uh, hopefully it'll be worth it, guys.